欢迎 ，Welcome to Chinese Class Open House. I am your student's Chinese teacher. Uh, they call me Huang 老师 which means Mrs. Huang. I will tell you a little bit about myself and how to support your students in、uh, my Chinese class.、Uh, so first of all, 你好，你好 means hi. Ah,、uh, means it means hello. Uh, I graduated from San Diego State University, and then I go to a national university to receive my master in education. Before I come to teach at KLA, I have been teaching six years at North County Chinese School, and this is my second year in Kira Leadership Academy. I really enjoy working here.、Um, I, you know, we have very good teams and very kind students to work with. When I have free time, I enjoy、uh, the nature. I also love to read and watch movie. I was born in Taiwan, which is the tiny island right next to mainland China.、Uh, I speak Taiwanese and、uh, Chinese Mandarin. When I was in high school, my family migrated to Buenos Aires, Argentina. I lived there for five years, and then I came to San Diego after I got married. So first, let's talk about our virtual classroom ex expectation. Basically, it's the same with any other classes. Students are expected to wear their KLA shirts. They need to find a quiet place to sit and learn. They are also expected to have their camera on, so we know that they are here with us.、Uh, additionally, they are encouraged to participate and respond, share their、uh, fluency and knowledge of Chinese during class. That is very important. Things that we will learn includes how to say daily life、uh, facts and you know information in Chinese, and also how to conduct some simple conversation in Chinese. Students will also be learning about Chinese holidays, cultures, food, and etiquette. I see your students four times a week. From nine forty-five to ten forty-eight a.m., we mostly use Google Classroom and Google Meet. All the information can be found in Google Classroom. So,、uh, students are, you know, I sing songs with them. I share authentic materials with them, so they know、uh, more about Chinese culture. We also、uh, play games during class with Kahoot right now or any other online、uh, technology. We also、uh, use Kami, Flipgrid, and Pear Deck during class. So each of these tools has different、uh, functions. For for example, with Kami, we edit our PDF file to turn in assignment. With Flipgrid, student will be able to say and record their、uh, Chinese speaking skills. This is the Google Classroom that we use very often. Uh, almost every day, students will find all the information here. I want to spend some time to tell you a little bit about our Google Classroom. So, if you go to、uh, when students go to Google Classroom, they will see the upcoming assignment that's due today. Okay. In addition, they will see important information on the、uh, stream page for students to locate our classwork. Everything is right here. Our bell work exit tickets. These are completed during class, and classwork or homework. These are bigger project or assignment that student will、uh, work during class. And also,、uh, I will set a deadline for them to turn in these assignment. For lessons, they will find this、uh, information that I use during class as a reference during. When they do the homework or when they complete the quiz or exam, the intro and beyond is for students who have already completed the assignment and meet standards to gain a little bit more in-depth knowledge of Chinese. And at the end, here is the document section where all the important information I share with students are organized. Here, the first one is our daily post. If you click on that. You will go to the page where you can see all the lessons. You know every day, 
the learner outcomes and also our uh, success criteria. in addition to the deadline. So these are the information that will be very helpful besides of helping students to complete their learning leadership log. Uh, you can find the resources in terms of what are due and what are the assignment and lesson of each day. Going back to Google Classroom towards the end, if you click on the syllabus, this will tell you a little bit more about the structure of my class. Basically, I grade students with uh, different categories. Citizenship, this is the uh, day student will be graded every day based on their uh, responsibility and participation during class. And uh, participation also stand aside as another grading uh, category. Student, the learning materials I use during class will be part of the grade here. Students are also expected to respond within five seconds, uh, you know, to answer the questions. Homework, fail work, and performance-based project. These are projects that has a specific direction and rubric. You can find that during in the classwork. If you go to classwork, you can see that each classwork has a rubric that tells students how they will be graded on each assignment. So if I click on the rubric, you will see in detail on how students will be graded in different categories, such as content and presentation, and how they can earn the maximum score. These are important information that I would like to share with you. You can find all these in Google Classroom. If you want to check their grade, you can go to Google Classroom or always you can go to Google, you can always go to our Illuminate, Illuminate Education. So going back to my Google slide uh, presentation, one important thing I would like to share with you is how I structure our lesson. So basically, I tell students that they are expected to open two tabs on their screen, one with their Google Meet, and they should turn their camera on so I see that they are in class. If not, they will lose citizenship grade and participation point. On the right, I would like them to open another tab that is the learning materials that I will be using each day. So the example right here is Pear Deck. Students are expected to join Pear Deck so they can interact with me during class. I can see their answer when they type and uh, we can address their needs right there during class. In addition to the Pear Deck, we also use a Kami in Google Classroom to edit our assignment. The reason for these two tabs is so that students don't need to switch back and forth between different tabs. I believe that this is a very effective way for students to learn alongside with the whole class on their left because they can see me and all their classmates in the Google Meet. This way we can create the in-person a connection that we really need right now during this, uh, you know, virtual learning environment. So uh, that's the end of my presentation. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me at whuang at mykla.org. Uh, I'm happy to, um, you know, discuss with you about your students' learning. So I hope to see you around soon. Bye bye. 再见.